Hello, Royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. But before we move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank all of you, each and every one of you, for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you guys waiting for? Hit that subscribe button now. Also, please don't forget to press that bell icon. Prince Harry will be wearing his military uniform when he takes part in a special vigil for Queen Elizabeth II this Saturday. Page 6 confirmed. A source exclusively tells Page 6 that Harry, who was previously told he could not wear the military uniform, did not request the change. He simply prepared to wear whatever his grandmother made plans for. He focused on honoring her, and that's it. If they like him in uniform, I have no reason to think that he wouldn't oblige, our sources say. A source told the Daily Mirror, who first reported the news on Thursday, that it was a ludicrous situation in the first place. The Duke of Sussex has served his country and is a highly respected member of the armed forces, with everything he has done for veterans, a source told the newspaper. It is important that the Queen's grandchildren are all made to feel welcome and comfortable as they grieve for their beloved grandmother together. A GB News royal reporter Cameron Walker wrote on Twitter, understand it was the King's request that Prince Harry would be permitted to wear the uniform when the Queen's grandchildren stand vigil beside her coffin on Saturday evening. It is understood that the Queen's grandchildren, at the King's invitation, are said to be very keen to pay their respects just as their parents will do this evening. Confirmation of Harry wearing the military uniform comes after the Duke of Sussex was banned from doing so at the Queen's coffin procession on Wednesday which saw the monarch conveyed from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Hall for the lying in state. That occasion saw Harry dressed in a black suit with his military medals pinned to his chest. As a non-working member of the royal family, Harry was prevented from wearing the military uniform for ceremonial events leading up to the Queen's funeral on Monday. The same applied to the Duke of York, who was also a non-working member of the royal family. He walked behind the Queen's coffin on Wednesday dressed in a suit while his siblings, King Charles III, Princess Anne, and the Earl of Wessex all wore military uniforms. So what do you guys think about this news? Do you think Harry is finally having a ray of hope for a royal return after this? Write down in the comments section below and let me know your thoughts for the same. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates like this, subscribe and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.